don't you dare get Chinese takeout when you can make delicious orange chicken at home, but better. So first to get started for our orange chicken, we need to make the rice. Two quart pot, give it a little zhuzh. And then you always wanna season it with salt. While it's cooking, that way it flavors the rice. Turn it on high heat once it comes up to a bubble. We'll reduce it to simmer and then cover it. 10 minutes. All right, so we have to prep our garlic. So first we're gonna start with our sauce. So you want about five cloves of garlic. It won't be too garlicky. When you saute it, it gets sweet. If you just slice off the root and then whack it, the skins will come off much easier, just like that. I always like to say my chefy tip when you're mincing your garlic, chopping your garlic, run your knife and your hands under cold water. That way, when you're slicing, mincing, chopping your garlic, see how it doesn't stick to the blade? Garlic is super, super sticky. Super important when you are cooking Asian food, mise en place, it means everything in its place. We have all of our ingredients ready to go because the cooking is quick. So you wanna heat your wok over medium to medium high heat. Avocado oil, canola oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, any high smoke point oil is perfect. Now into the bottom of the wok, you're gonna add the garlic, and we're just gonna saute that briefly. About a minute, once you smell it, it's good to go. The bird's eye chili are really hard to find, at least for me in my grocery store. So although this is not traditional, I like to use these in place of them. So you want one to three. So this is gonna be spicy. Add it right into the wok. Now this is more of like a wok skillet, which works beautiful. So we have three tablespoons mirin and three tablespoons less sodium soy sauce. So that way we can control the salt. And the mirin is a sweetened Japanese rice wine. A little pepper, a little kosher salt. So right now our heat is on medium. And now we're gonna add about a quarter cup of orange marmalade. You wanna take one orange, and then with a vegetable peeler, just peel the zest in these big strands. But make sure you don't get any of the white. See that, that's what you want. You just want the zest, no pith. I always like to say, with my lemons, my limes, roll the lime, it loosens the juice. Same thing for oranges. So that way, when you squeeze them, you get maximum juice. You wanna freshly squeeze three oranges. right into the wok. If you don't have a wok, you can also use a 12 inch skillet. We're just gonna bring this up to a bubble, reduce it to a simmer, so we concentrate all that delicious flavor. And then we'll thicken it at the end. Now to prep our chicken. I love using organic chicken. In my opinion, I feel like it just tastes better. Now here in this preparation, because we're pan frying it, you really don't have to. Chicken thighs can be super inexpensive, so you can really save there, but I love organic. One and a half pounds, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. All you wanna do is just chop them up into bite-sized pieces, like that. So I've washed my hands, and now we're just gonna coat the chicken. All-purpose flour. And a little paprika. So this is just gonna flavor the flour. Just eyeball it and some salt and pepper. Kosher salt, freshly cracked black pepper. Give it a little zhuzh. And now buttermilk. So we're gonna first dredge our chicken thighs into the buttermilk, just a little bit. So now you're just gonna take our little chicken nuggets, they're kinda like chicken nuggets. We're gonna pop them into the buttermilk, coat them. Well, you know what, shoot, before I dredge it, I wanna season it with salt and pepper. So lightly season with kosher salt, freshly cracked black pepper. Dredge them into the buttermilk, get a nice even coating. We just want a little coating so it acts like the glue to our flour. 12 inch skillet, you wanna add, again, a high smoke point oil, avocado oil, canola oil, peanut oil. Over medium heat, you wanna make sure it's nice and heated. And now we're just gonna fry in batches our little chicken nuggets. We just want them to be golden and crisp.
about two to three minutes on each side. And then just hit it lightly with just a little bit of salt. And repeat, second batch. So you're gonna need about four teaspoons of arrowroot. You can also use cornstarch. I like arrowroot because it's really silky smooth and we need to add a little bit of water. So it's our slurry. Typically you use equal parts water to cornstarch or arrowroot. Just give it a little zhuzh, so you just wanna stir it. And now we're just gonna add it right in. So the heat is gonna activate the sauce and thicken it. So we wanna just crank the heat a little bit, about medium heat. The thing is, it happens really, really quick. So once it gets heated, it will thicken. All right, now see that right there? Cut the heat. So we thickened it perfectly. Look at that, it's beautiful, it's glossy and silky. That's what the arrowroot does. And then we're just gonna let it sit and hang out and stay warm. Add our crispy chicken right into the orange sauce. Toss all the chicken into the sauce. So by doing it in the wok, see how we have this surface area? That makes it so much easier to toss the chicken. Just gonna add it to a serving platter. Now to garnish green onions. So we need chopsticks, super important. It just tastes better. Piece of orange right there, look at that. It's so good. Crispy, tender, the sauce is mac daddy. And again, if you want it a little spicier, add three of the chilies or one or none. Oh my God, so good. And there you have it, orange chicken that you can make it home. If you like this video, you learned something, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below, be sure to subscribe. I do roll out a new, or at least I try to roll out a new video each week. So if you wanna check out more of my other videos, you can click this video link right here, or click this one. I'll meet you over there.